Hi everyone, myself Rakesh. Uh, I'm here to make a clear view about programming and data structures and how it is useful in our computer science. And I'm explaining a few great questions here. So now it is very funny to say that without programming, there's no person now in current world are using any kind of applications. So what are the applications you take, whether it may be smart applications or mobile applications or desktop applications. So man has become so much lazy to do his work. So he made smart applications by using a concept called programming. So now in our current world, there are a lot of programming languages that is around 128 plus programming languages which are known to us. So and still a lot of people are developing their own programming languages. So the programming is something like which makes us very funny to interact with the computer. So you can define your own programming language, build your own compiler and you can write your own code. So now same thing when you go for gate computer science concepts, how programming is useful for gate. So earlier I mentioned when you go for programming, we have a weightage of around 9 marks for programming in our computer science. So let us focus more on programming. So just I'm explaining here a few example gate questions. So the best data structure to check whether an arithmetic expression has balanced parentheses is a. So this gate question has passed in 2012 computer science as well as ID. So the best data structure to check whether an arithmetic expression has balanced parentheses. So what is balanced parentheses? So we have been used a lot of programming languages. So normally when you take a C programming language, you have open bracket as well as closed bracket. So there's four brackets. So everything will be written here. So when you take similar HTML markup language, you have opening tag as well as closed tag. So when anything is open, you're closing it. Okay. So that opening and closing is called a balanced parenthesis. So when you're opening something, definitely what are the data which you are placed in that. After that, we need to close the data or parenthesis. So now when you take a programming language, you have open something, you are closing it. Or when you take any other programming language, you are opening it and closing it. Now, which data structure is having same kind of balanced parenthesis? So when you take Q, we know that in Q there is no balanced parenthesis. Why? Because when you talk about Q, so Q will be always like a random one where okay, when you make something like uh, who who's the person who comes first will be taken first. That's first come first serve. When you take stack, the person entered here in the last, uh, in the last will be taken as first. So same thing when you go for stack, we use balanced parentheses where the data will be represented over here from the last to first. Whereas in go for tree as well as list, there is no balanced parenthesis. So out of Q start tree as well as list. So we have the example of stack which maintains only balanced parenthesis. That is when you are making a program to write or when you are declaring your algorithm or when you are writing your data structure. So, if what are the data you are entering in it? Definitely is closing a particular statement. So, if he does not close your parenthesis or does not uh, retrieve the data exactly, so there will be always a syntax error kind of thing you will get. So, now the exact answer for this, the best data structure to check with an arithmetic expression is as balanced parenthesis is stack. The next question in programming is, the elements we have given some elements and we need to insert the elements in max heap. So now what exactly max heap is? Okay. So when you are running the elements in max heap, okay, the left chained element should be always greater than right chained element. And this is my first condition and second condition is parent element should be greater than child element. So we have given certain values. So according to these values, we have given you to find the max heap. 
So in our max C, the first condition is left child element should be always greater than right child element and parent element should be always greater than child element. So out of the options given here, just find out. So left child element greater than right child element. So in first option, the left child element is greater than right child element. That is 30 greater than 25 and parent element greater than child element. So this parent element is always greater than child elements here. So this condition is valid. Okay. Now in second thing, uh, 32, uh, sorry, the left child element greater than right child element. So 25 is not greater than 30. So this is not valid. Now here in third condition, left child element greater than right child element. 30 is greater than 25. This is valid. Parent element greater than child element. This is valid. Parent element 32 is greater than child element 30 and 25. So this is also valid. Now next option, the child element, left child element greater than right child element. This is not valid. Okay. So it is less than the right child element. Okay. Now we have two options A as well as D valid up to here. Now when you go for next three, so 15 the child element uh, is always less than the parent element here. Okay. And left child element is always greater than right child element. That is 15 greater than 12. And 20 greater than 16. Okay. So the left child element is always greater than right child element. Left child element here is greater than right child element. And child element is less than parent element. So these two conditions are valid here first, first option. Now when you go for here. So the left child element is greater than right child element here. This valid here. Okay. So but when you go for here. Left child element is less than right child element. This is not valid here. Okay. So this B and D are not valid in this first step itself. When you go for A and C, both are valid up to one level of three. And first A satisfy all the things, whereas in go for C option it is not satisfying the right child element values. So now the elements 32, 15, 20, 30, 12, 25, 16 are inserted one by one in the given order into max heap. So according to our max heap condition, we have two conditions. So when you go for these options, the two conditions which satisfy these options is A. So the obvious answer will be A for us. So 32, 30, 25, 15, 12, 20 and 16. So this is a max heap of the given order for us. And this question has been asked in GATE 2015 Computer Science ID.